joined all the way from across the world right now by Hayley Steinfeld. Welcome to the show, Hayley. First off, big tune. I'm a big Anderson Pack fan. I'm a big Hayley Steinfeld fan. I didn't think this collab would ever happen, but here it is. Here it is. Thank you so much. <laughs> How did it happen? Can we talk about that first? Because um, I... I'm a big, as I said, Anderson Pack fan. He doesn't tend to team up with uh, artists who are kind of pop artists like you. You know, he does a lot of collabs mm -hmm. with other rappers and other kind of R&B artists. How did it come about? It's a great question. Um, this sort of uh, came about uh, through through Andy and I really becoming friends, which I feel like is the coolest part about this whole collaboration, right? I think a lot of times, at least these days, sometimes you barely even meet the person that you're collaborating with. A lot of it happens via the interwebs and uh texts and emails and teams and all that um but this this really came about so organically and and so naturally and the best part was obviously not having not only having him on the song but having his support um i was able to play him some other records as well from the project and and um i think i got the the ap stamp of approval so pretty cool how did you meet him like at an award show you like introduced th through a mutual friend yeah, no, I, we, we met in passing uh, years ago. I think it was like at a, at a maybe a Grammy party. Um, and we actually, we found this photo that we took at this party from years ago. Uh, and I don't know that either one of us sort of like remembered that it even existed. But anyway, full circle moment. We met years ago uh, and just sort of reconnected more recently. And um, and uh, yeah, look what's happened. <laughs> So Coast, whose idea was it? Was it like, was it your idea to do the that kind of sound of a song and the idea for Coast or was it Anderson Pack had that in the pipeline and was like, Hayley, you'd sound amazing on this? No, so I, uh, it was my song. It was the first song that I did uh, when I set out to start this new project. So Coast is uh, about two years old, maybe a little bit older, um, which is so crazy. Uh, and I played it for Anderson uh, back in like April um i think yeah about april so uh i played it for him and i i just was like if you if you at all think this is decent uh tell me what i have to do to get you on it and and he was in so pretty cool wow and just such a talented musician i'm sure you've seen it but his um his tiny desk uh oh my it's god like, Drake, oh my it's, my, it's my favorite tiny desk of all time that and mac miller's um and you can just see oh like my I remember seeing him live for the first time and he didn't have a drummer and I was his first two songs. I was like, why does he have a full drum kit on stage? And then obviously he jumps on the drum kit. He does this whole thing. Such a talented musician. Did he have a lot? Like, did you get him in, in the, um, in the booth on any instruments on that song? Or was it all kind of just like, Hey, just the vocals? No, no, he, uh, he definitely like, I mean, contributed. It was so exciting. Cause the first, when, when, uh, we, we, he recorded his part on the song, uh, we were able to be in the studio together and it occurred to me in that moment that i hadn't been in a studio in a session with people in years so for my first sort of like session back to be with him of of all people of all artists was just like i don't know being being in the studio with him feels like why you fall in love with making music in the first place yeah um that in energy that 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 love and passion for what you do the creativity the flow it's like it's just it it doesn't compare to anything and like you said he's just an undeniably talented musician and and to see him i mean it's like every everything he does has substance it's meaningful every lyric he writes every move he makes um and i grew up listening to his records and and the you know one of the most exciting parts um about having him on this is is a lot of this music is very much inspired by my California roots. And so to have him born and raised in Oxnard, shout out Oxnard, not far from where I'm from, uh, really sort of cements that like West Coast vibe. Um, so we really brought it home. And you can hear it on the song. You you do work very well together and your voices sound amazing. And it's like a, a, a match that I don't think you would expect to work, but it really does. Not at all. Um, yeah. Just speaking of yeah. artists that have inspired you, you said you listened to Anderson Pack a lot growing up. I know you've talked about your love for Rihanna as well. And Britney Spears, I want to talk about her for a second. Obviously, she just released this uh, over the weekend with Elton John, Hold Me Closer. Thoughts on this song? And thoughts on people reworking old songs in 2022? Are you here for it? Or are you like, I don't know, we could probably let it be? You know, I'm 
here for it. I mean, it's funny because I, I sort of, I mean, got my start in this whole world by um, some would call it a remake. Some would call it an adaptation uh, of a film that was very, very loved. Um, and that's what gave me my start. Right. So I think it's incredible that, um, you know, when there are opportunities that work and that feel right, much like this Elton and Brittany uh, collab, it's just, it works. It's amazing. It's two of the most iconic artists in the world coming together on something that is so valued and loved by so many people. Um, but yeah, what was the first part of your question? Sorry. <laughs> no, that's all right. That was, that was kind of all I was asking. Follow up. Oh. If you had to rework a throwback song, and and they're like, Haley, look, whatever song you choose, you've got the rights to it. You you, you oh. can re-release a tune. Have you got anything top of mind that's a karaoke anthem that you're like, shit, I sound good on this. I'd love I'd love to do this one. Okay, well you threw karaoke in there and that that my go to I would never touch this. I wouldn't dare. But my go to karaoke song is no scrubs, TLC. Yes. yes. But yeah. I could never. I, I mean, of course. I, yeah. like, hypothetically. I Sure, hypothetically, yeah. maybe. Um, but that's because you threw in karaoke. But before that, I was sort of thinking, like, maybe Rich Girl, Hall & Oates. Yeah. Be kind of cool. Yeah, I'm here for it. Hey, um, just quickly, have you ever been to New Zealand before? Obviously, you're, you're, you're zooming into New Zealand right now. I'm wondering if you've ever been to this part of the world? I'm zooming in. I've never been. Is it on your bucket list? Do you want to get down here at some point? Oh my God! Yes, absolutely. I've heard nothing but great things. I've I would absolutely love to come. I wonder what will bring you here first: music or film? Probably film. We've got heaps of um heaps of movies filmed down here. Do you think it would be that first, huh? Yeah, I think there's a lot right now, like uh, being filmed here. Especially over COVID, there were a lot of movies. Like the whole Lord of the Rings, that new Lord of the Rings movie was filmed down here. Obviously, we're known for Lord of the Rings, but a few other right. ones as well. <laughs> um, so talking about your acting, you. You and I and obviously know you're an actress. When I was kind of looking into a few more of the movies you've done, you have done so many movies and TV shows. Um, how do you kind of find time to make music and get inspired for music when you're just, you know, working so hard as an actress? And I know it's a full time job, but sometimes more than a full time job, especially when you're on on big projects. Right. Yeah, I, I I definitely um uh have experienced it. To being challenging at times. Um, I think with this project specifically, uh, I was able to sort of give myself the time. I had, I had finished working on two shows that uh, sort of took up the last few years of, of my life. Um, and I was able to sort of designate a, a period of time to the music that I don't know that I've ever really had the chance to do before. Um, at least not this amount of time. And it really allowed me to sort of be inspired by the music that I grew up listening to and where that's, of course, always been an influence to me. Um, I never had the chance to really dig deep into it and understand what that what that inspiration meant, what that influence meant, and how you would hear it in, in a song by me. Uh, so I was able to do that this time around, which was exciting. But I think in the past, it's it's just been a matter of you know, finding the time and having an incredible team of people around me to, to help me find that time and support me. Um, but no denying it's been a challenge doing it simultaneously, uh, but um, it can be done. <laughs> yeah, props to you. You, you. You've obviously got a passion for it. What If you could only do one of them, I know this is the hardest question on earth because obviously you love both of those things. If you could only be a musical artist or an actress. <laughs> well, there's always musicals, so. <laughs> Touche. That's the loophole. I could. Uh, there you go. There's, there's the loophole. Love your work. Hey, it was an absolute pleasure to meet you. As I said, I'm a big fan. Really appreciate Thank your time, Haley. Thank you so much. Hopefully see you in person next time. Yeah. Yeah. Take care.